Phil and Phil Studd. That's it. Your choice. Yep. Who wants you to break? Sean Murphy's walk-on music feels significant. Disco Inferno, Burn Baby Burn. Thank you. It's the unexpected delay in the commencement of this match has just heightened the anticipation. Arguably the match of the first round here at the UK Championship. Sean Murphy, Hossein Vafai, two players who love to entertain, love to go for it, love to put on a show. So let's hope it lives up to its billing. 11 frames, the first to six to go through to the round of 16. Not the best break off from the former shootout champion. And it is the shootout which produced their only previous meeting. So a showdown between this pair in a big event like this is long overdue, Dom. Yes, absolutely. I think we have two players here this evening that don't overly think their preparations before going out to play. They're both very casual and relaxed players. Sean Murphy can be a devastating potter and break builder when he's on his game, but he's been a little short of his best form so far this season. Couldn't have started the season any better, Murphy. Of course, he won the Championship League, a ranking event. He was unbeaten throughout that tournament, whitewashed Mark Williams in the final. But as Dom says, that aside, the results have been modest. But last season was a return to his very best form for Murphy. Two big titles, the Players' Championship for the top 16 on the one-year list when he beat Ali Carter. The Tour Championship for the top eight when he came from behind to beat Kyron Wilson. And he went to the Crucible as inevitably one of the favourites, but ran into an inspired performance from C. Jai Wee. It was a fantastic match, which Murphy only lost in a decider. C, of course, going on to make the semis and very nearly the final. So things have been very much looking up for Murphy on the table of late. Sean's such an attacking player. Unless you get that cue ball somewhere very close to the bolt cushion, he'll take a look at any pot. One thing with Sean, though, when you do get opportunities, they're normally very good ones because he's such an attacking player. Hossein Fafai made the last 16 last year. He beat Mark Selby before losing to Jack Lazowski. One. A little unfortunate not to be on the blue or even the brown, Hossein. He just come off the bolt cushion and rest him behind the brown. Same for five. One.
for five years here, courtesy of qualifying victories over Martin O'Donnell by Whitewash. And Scott Donaldson, 6-4 from 3-1 behind. He's made four centuries in the process for fight. So he's been scoring heavily. His best run in this campaign so far, a last four appearance at the British Open where he lost to eventual champion Mark Williams, 6-3. Yes, last season, Sean Murphy made twice the number of centuries of his opponent, 48 centuries to Hossein's 24. But this season, Hossein Fafai has currently made 18 centuries to Sean's 15. So on current form, Hossein Fafai is more than the equal of Sean Murphy. And it's very difficult, I feel, to predict a winner of this match. A good start imperative, of course. An unintended cannon, a mistake from Murphy. I don't know if the pink wall pass to the right corner if it does. Hossein's initial red that he'll be taking on will be a little bit easier, but if he has to manoeuvre the cue ball back towards the bolt colours, it makes the pot much more missable. Aside from his victory in the shootout last year when he beat Mark Williams with a 71 break in the title match, he's made five other ranking semi-finals. <laughs> Although he originally turned pro in 2012, it's been Far from smooth Three. journey as a pro for the fight. A lot of visa issues initially, barely played in the years after turning professional. So he's had to do it the hard way. Very dedicated. Four. Former world amateur champion. Former world under 21 champion. And great to watch when he's in full flow. Six. Didn't try to do too much with the cue ball there. He's played for the red that's near the right corner, but he needs to play this pretty well to get good position on a colour. Seven. Never easy to judge those when the object ball's near the jaws of a pocket. That could have finished better. Blue may be a very tricky angle to try and cut the blue to the right centre from, but positionally it's more advantageous perhaps than the brown.
11. I don't know if the two reds together above the black spot may be a plant to the right corner. Could be a help to Jose, and there aren't any easy reds to get onto. Oh, the green's gone astray. Same for five. Surprising Twelve. miss. plant is on but the red that's closest to the cue ball is very tight maybe Sean's playing a three ball plant here or looking at it and if he does so he may have the chance to play through for the black oh didn't want the cannon on the red he won. Yellow ball. Sean Murphy, one. That line of reds in the middle of the table there, you know, there could be some sort of bizarre five ball plant available here. I'll tell you something, they may not be far off. Having a good old look at it. Way too thin from Murphy. Very nearly went in off. So this opening frame into its 15th minute. Just 14 points on the board. The crowd have certainly had value for money on the first two days here at the York Barbican. We've had four of our six completed matches go to a final frame. This afternoon's match between Zhang Ander and Elliot Slesser lasted five hours. Ander coming through. Second attempt. One.
Sean was very fortunate the cue ball rattled in the jaws of the green pocket, but that secondary kiss to the red to knock it into the pocket was very important from Hossein's point of view. Could have cost him Brilliant. the frame if it had stayed there. But it's been a little bit of a nervy beginning to this match from One. Sean Murphy. There's a lot of mutual respect on show this evening. Both players talking the other up ahead of this showdown. I think both are attracted to the way the other plays their snooker. Well, where's this finishing? Another one over the pocket. One. Did pretty well there. Didn't get anywhere near the spin on the ball that we saw Luca Brussel create earlier in his match this afternoon. But it was a good effort nevertheless. Don't know if the brown will pass the green. If it does, it could make things easier. Oh, that's a beautiful little deflection from the bottom jaw of the middle pocket. Right. Couldn't have finished better because now he can pot the red to the right corner and play for the pink potentially into the centre pocket. Six. Thirteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Six. Twenty-seven. Played that very well. It would have been easy to leave the cue ball short of pace there, but the fact that he played for that red tells me the two together don't pot into the corner pockets. He just finished a little straight on this pink, though. Just looking for one more red to secure the frame. Thirty-three. No joy, so... 46, the advantage, just that one elusive pot away from backing this opening frame. Currently at 18th in the world, Hossein Vafai, and the subplot for him this week is that a place at the Masters in the new year is within reach. You'd have to make at least the semi-finals to achieve it. And 
this is where Hossein Vafai needs to be very, very wary of Sean Murphy's abilities as a potter. He's very capable of making a counter clearance. Can he not stun off the red, get the cube in behind the green? Oh, clever, clever shot. Managed to get the cue ball towards the green. Safe away. Place those two reds near the cushion rail. Very well played. Murphy looking to pot his way out of trouble. No joy. One out of five from long range in this opening frame for Murphy. Jimmy White reference, what a strength that, that normally is for him. Can for five manufacture a plant for frame ball. In the event, he wasn't close. Still firm favourite as things stand. Well, Sean certainly has a chance here to punch this straightish red in, run through for the black. And then if he leaves an angle on the black, he could bring the awkward red into play. Things can change very quickly when this man's at the table. One. Excellent red, but not ideal by any stretch on his colour. Something's got to go here for Murphy, otherwise he'll need a snooker. 45 behind. 42 if he potted the green with 43 left. No wiggle room at all now for Murphy. He needs blacks with these remaining reds if he's to pinch this frame. Five. It's another terrific pot. Really was. That's however finished. Very straight on the black. I think the best he can do here is to perhaps play for a double on the remaining red. That's exactly what he has done, and that's not bad. Twelve. Sean Murphy. Well, didn't really get close to the double, so another opportunity for Fafai to put this frame to bed. Just needs the red. It'll be 35 in front with just the colours left, so Murphy would need a couple of snookers to tie if he can sink this challenging pot. Oh, double kiss. This frame is still very much alive. Well, Phil, a lot of players wouldn't really be capable of playing for the black from a position like this, but Sean Murphy is one of the select few that certainly can with the cue power and ability to move the cue ball that he has. One. Certainly got the action on the cue ball, but the full ball kiss on the pink has scuppered his position. Well, 
unfortunately he can still cut the pink in but if he does so one snooker would be required well he'd be able to tie actually he'd be 27 behind with 27 on Sean Murphy, seven. So once again, the Fai one ball away from finally getting this frame on the roster. Two. No heroics on the yellow. Murphy now needs a snooker to tie. FFI 9 and the first but nearly 28 minutes something of a slow burn you might say but it's gone the way of Hussein Vafai first blood to the Prince of Persia he leads Sean Murphy former UK champion by a frame to nil Hussein Vafai strikes first nothing in the way of a break in that opening frame 33 from Vafai but he got it done on the colours the winner of this of course to play the winner of the match on table two between Ali Carter quickly, and Matthew Sell it looks as though that's going frame. One frame all. Sean Murphy to break. Murphy breaking off in frame two in this their first big meeting. They did play in the shootout earlier this year. Murphy won that, but of course that's just the one frame. This is the UK Championship, the second biggest event on the ranking calendar, and that is not a great break off from Murphy, bringing the red up the table. He won this title back in 2008 in pretty dramatic circumstances. Final frame decided with Marco Fui. Fluked championship ball pink. Became the 10th player to complete the triple crown when he won the Masters. Not quite happening for Murphy from long range so far this evening, though. such a risky pot to attempt because even had he left his intended red safe there was still that other one on into the right centre now there's a red at pack that I'll say he was attempted to play for no. now has a wonderful angle to go into the pack of reds. Now, he doesn't want to play this with too much backspin, otherwise he'll end up near one of the corner pockets. So he needs to stun into the pack of reds with force. Oh, could have finished better. He's 
Got a very tricky red to the left corner. There's no guarantee of position. Same for five. Sixteen. <laughs> Could play a cross double here. I'll save a fine to the right centre. Attempted it. Murphy's attempted 13 pots so far this evening, has made just seven. Very early days. Just looking for a spark to get things going. I've just been looking at the cue that Sean's using. I think it's his original cue that he's had a little bit of work done. It was originally just 8.75 millimetres, the ferrule size. I think currently it's about 9.2. But these days he seems to carry a secondary cue in this case that's about 9.3, 9.35 millimetres. I don't really know what the idea is behind taking two cues out to play. I think Murphy would respond by saying that he feels that different sorts of conditions can produce a different amount of throw and therefore maybe a different kind of equipment is required but whether you would require two cues in the same match in the same environment is open to debate well you're absolutely right that can be the case but no two cues are the same and of course you play with a leathern tip on the top of the ferrule and no two tips play the same either so there are too many variables that long pot that was clean tempted by the blue but this is trickier than it looks well played now a great chance for Sean Murphy ordinarily a very capable break, mill, break, break builder a must already 639 career centuries be at all surprised to see him add to that this evening. Which puts him at seventh in the all time list. Seven maximum breaks. Thanks. 
seven. No joy with the black Sean though. Seven. Caught it too thick. So Murphy has yet to settle in this match, and here's a very presentable chance now for Mafai to punish. Caught quite a bit of that near jaw. Championship League aside, as Dom alluded to at the start of this match, Murphy's results have been OK, but not great. Last 16 of the European Masters. Lost out in the first round to Lu Hong Yu in the English Open. Made the round of 16 at the Northern Ireland Open where he lost to Chris Wakelin. Eventual runner-up. One. Same played for the black there, and he's just allowed the cue balls to run through too far. He can't see enough of it. And he's certainly not ideally on the blue. Blue ball. Excellent. That's a real confidence booster. There was clearly pressure on it, knowing if he missed, he was leaving Murphy back in. Six. Struck it very cleanly. Seven. really was a great blue played it so positively and it was made all the more difficult because he knows he should have been on something about a hundred times easier fourteen he's talked in the build-up to this match for Fai about how he loves the big occasion a raucous atmosphere and he certainly proved that when he won the shootout whatever you think about that tournament and its ranking status. Not everyone agrees that it should be 15. a ranking event. You certainly need to have something about you to thrive in that pretty unforgiving atmosphere. Very loud crowd. Who can get on your back sometimes if you're not producing. But he was a picture of calm throughout that event. He suffered a family bereavement just before it. Maybe that put things in perspective for him. But he'll be disappointed to miss five. the black. He was queuing 15. close to the side cushion, so neither player have quite hit their straps yet. He must have been very disappointed to finish so close to the side cushion in attempting the black and just didn't strike the ball smoothly at all. That's another one, though, that Sean's missed. Yeah, these two players do seem rather wary of one another, it has to be said, judging by the play that we've witnessed so far. Well, his pot success down at 56 at the moment. One. Marcel Eckert just taking great care to respot the pink. Hossein would like to be much straighter on this red than he is. A 
to really fight to Eight. hold the cue ball for the pink, which he's only just about done, but unfortunately he doesn't have a good angle on it at all. Fifteen. Terrific pot. The fight edging his way towards the chance of twenty one. Doubling his lead, 45 for the advantage, 67 left. A safe for five, 21. Just to avoid the cannon on the brown there, leave the cue ball close to the yellow, could have snookered Sean on all reds, but, well, I've seen enough of Sean over the years to know that he'll be taking this red on into the right corner. Stun across for the pink into the same pocket. Mighty close. Well, for me, a confident Sean Murphy would have stunned across to the pink into the same pocket as the red because had he done so, the only red he could have left was the one he took on anyway. Surprised he played it the way he did. Here's a chance for Murphy to get right back in the picture in this second frame. One. Long side, Ollie. Six. Seven. Left himself an angle on the pink to try and Disturb those three reds that are in a line because I don't think any of them pot anywhere. Oh, hit them beautifully. Could have finished a little better, but it's okay. 13. This will be an important steal from Murphy. He's not really settled in this match as yet. Well, saying Vafai was in control of this frame just now, he's not anymore. Yellow's 14. not ideal, but aside from that, it's a pretty good table for Murphy.
19. Twenty. I'll be interested to see if Sean decides to leave an angle on the remaining red just to roll through for the blue to try and cannon the yellow into play or whether he's happy to attempt the pot from where it is. I think I'd be happy just to roll this red in and just play a delicate half or cannon on the yellow. 26. <laughs> 27. Well, I played for the green instead there, but didn't intend to flick the blue, but it hasn't finished badly. It still has a good angle here on the green to bring the yellow into play or even drop in behind it. A little double kiss hasn't worked out badly. Yes, the cue ball's very close to the yellow, but it has a beautiful angle just to almost dab the yellow in. He can't really play a fluent stroke here. He's just got to jab it in almost. Oh, goodness, that looked good, but it hasn't gone in. As he snookered it behind the green, he may 32. have done... I'll save the fight back at the table, and there's confirmation of four ball snooker on that yellow, but he'll be delighted that he's still in the frame and still in front. 13 is his advantage. And that's worked out very nicely. Two. And now a clear chance to extend his lead. Five. Just the brown required. Nine. It would have been a significant steal for Murphy with the Fai having bossed most of the frame, but the yellow eluded him. The Fai was able to pot it 14. off the cushion and, just as importantly, get position on the green. Twenty. And the frame. The highest break of just 33 from the former shootout champion, but Hossein Vafai won't care. Sean Murphy with work to do as Vafai extends his lead to two frames to nil. 67%. Clearly Hossein that's going to have to improve. A top break from Sean so far of just 32. He had the chance to steal just now, missed that tricky cut back yellow, and Vafai took advantage. So 2 nil but a long way to go. First to six to go through. The winner to play either Ali Carter or Matt Selt. That's been a very tidy match so far. Carter has just edged back in front at 2-1 on table two. You can watch it, of course, on Discovery+. Plus. Average frame time just under 25 minutes.
excellent safety from Hossein for fight. Just wonder if there's a gap between the brown and the blue though to a thin edge of a red on the left hand side of the table. If there isn't, Sean's in trouble here. This is pacey. Okay, though. chance of a red here to the right but not much of a gap to thread the cue ball through for position on the blue one didn't want the cannon on the red the black certainly doesn't pop and there's not quite enough gap through to the pink, so he's on nothing really. Same for five. tactical stuff so far this evening these players known for their break building prowess their attacking aggressive approach but 
Sometimes the balls don't allow that kind of snooker. You've just got to be patient, scrap it out where necessary. Fall and a miss. Sean Murphy, four. Just make sure that's switched off, please. No problem. I don't know, Chip. We can check here, no problem. Slightly to meet you. <coughs> Olivia Martil doing the marking this evening, so a slight adjustment to the cue ball's position required. Yeah, yeah. Sean. Thanks. Everyone's happy now. Fire just looking for the thin edge. That was what he was concerned about, catching the blue, which he did, but happily for the fight, thinly enough that it didn't cause him a problem. Executed safety shot this time from Sean Murphy. I'm sure Hussein Vafai will be playing a similar one again. You want to yeah. Yeah. Re yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. And they've decided yeah, that they've had enough of that frame and they're going to set them up again. So that nine and a half minutes officially didn't happen. You're looking a little puzzled, Dom. Well, you're in the middle of a tactical exchange. Down, Why would you have a rear rack in a situation like that? That's not a stalemate, surely. I'm thunderstruck, I really am. So after the players agreed to a re-rack, we're going to start frame three once again. Slightly unusual evening already here at the Barbican with the fire that broke out in reception causing an hour's delay to the commencement of play. The first two frames have been quite scrappy. Neither player quite hitting the heights as yet. Slightly subdued feel about the place at the moment, but... That could well change. I think we've got problems with the scoreboard now, so going to have a slight further delay while we sort that out. Maybe they're having difficulty resetting for the start of this frame after the re-rack. Oh, yes, the scoreboard is still showing. Four points to one in Sean Murphy's favour. That needs to be completely reset. Meanwhile, they're on the cusp of going to the interval on the opposite table. I think the sense was that that could be quite a battle between Matthew Selton and Ali Carter. Well, it's certainly proving to be very competitive, but it's been very free-flowing stuff from both, and Selt is on the cusp of making it two each at the interval. 
Full two frames clear of the action here. Clearly a ghost in the machine as regards the scoreboard, hence a further delay this evening. Clearly Bafai not amused. Why, yeah. Scoreboard. It is very frustrating for all concerned. I think Phil even the scoreboard was surprised that there was a rewrap there. Error. World snooker in attendance. Marcel Eckhart also keeping an eye on proceedings. So while we sort out these technical issues, which hopefully will be resolved very soon, we'll just nip over to the other table, as mentioned. It's been a terrific match so far, and Matthew Selt, former Indian Open champion, has just made a century to level up with Ali Carter. Had a great season last season. So they're already off for their mid-session break at two apiece. We're just getting started again in frame three here. Happily, it seems the scoreboard is now working. Long may that continue. Leave quietly, please, as we are still in play. Thank you. Chance of a straightest red here to the left corner for Sean. But if you're just a little low on confidence, the first part of your game that suffers is your potting ability. I think that's something we're seeing at the moment with Neil Robertson, who we'll be seeing in action later on this week. Aside from his triumph in this event, when it was staged in Telford back in 2008, Murphy has twice been runner-up. Mark Selby, 2012, Ronnie O'Sullivan, 2017. One. And he's in. Now, can Murphy belatedly find some rhythm in his game? It's a better pot than it looked. Not easy into those centres when you've only got part of the pocket to aim at. Certainly split the reds there. But is he on one? Not looking promising. Eight. It's kind of summed up Murphy's evening so far. How can he not be on a red from that split? Oh, dear, dear. Well, there is a red on into the centre pocket, but very tricky. No. Oh, well done, well done. Not only was the pot difficult, position as well to a colour is also not straightforward. You're as good as Murphy. It only takes one or two sweetly struck shots to 16. recapture your rhythm. He 
He's got plenty of recent happy memories, memories to draw on. Three ranking titles this season for Murphy. 12 in all now. Tenth in the all-time list in that regard. He also won the Champion of Champions. So he's got all the big trophies in the locker. But I think he's very motivated to add plenty more. Now 41 years of age. 21. But as ambitious as ever, he's talked about the world number one ranking as one of his goals. He's currently at seven in the world. He's been as high as three 22. back in 2016. But becoming a multiple UK champion would be high on the list of things still to do for Murphy. Rambo. Twenty-six. Sean would love to be able to get position on the black. It would make getting on the next red so much easier. Twenty-seven. Just a little half ball on the blue, wanted to be much straighter on it. Bramble. Bramble. Thirty one. Thirty-two. This time, though, perfectly on the blue. And if he can play position to his next red correctly, he should be able to finally get onto the black. Thirty-seven. such a bad thing to play for the pink in, in, that, in actual fact here to get that out of the way and back on its spot 38 and if you can play for the red that's just to the left of the pink that would make things a lot more straightforward for Sean Murphy 45. For Fayin. 
pretty relaxed pose, but perhaps fearing the worst in this frame, with Murphy beginning to find a bit of the usual touch. Forty-seven. Oh, Sean's lucky to be on this red. Still very awkward, as you can see. Oh, it's a little straight, but he should be able to jab it in, and I'm presuming the pink will pot to the right centre. Forty-eight. The problem, though, playing for the pink into the right centre is that he couldn't leave an ideal angle on it. Fifty-five. Twenty-nine seconds per shot is very low by Murphy's standards, but that's indicative of the fact that the first two frames were very stop-start for him. This has been much more like it. Still got a bit of work to do to clinch the frame with 67 points remaining. And that's gone wrong. Just as he was on the cusp of 60. delivering the killer blow in this frame. Out of position. Still 67 there. He needs another red. Sean Murphy, 60. A good break, but Murphy will be frustrated that it wasn't a frame-winning one. Still some hope for the fight. the last thing that Sean Murphy wanted to see. A red wobble and finish in a potable position. Chance here for Hossein Vafai. He can play down for a high value colour. One. To be honest, there's only one slightly awkward red and that's the one that's closest to that left-hand side cushion, if he can play for the red that's just below it. Well, it brings it into play a little more. Every chance of a winning clearance here, if he can just keep a good tight rein of the cue ball.
six. Seven. Chance to play for one of the awkwardly positioned reds here near the right side cushion, perhaps. Decided not to, though. Why? Well, in a way, he's on both of those reds. Fourteen. Fifteen. This would be a very significant steal for Hossein Vafai. Sean Murphy finally seemed to be getting his game together, made the break of 60. Was on the cusp of clinching the frame, only to run out of position when he was a ball away. And now he's sweating a little on Vafai not making a clearance, but obviously the final red is the major hurdle. He's going to have to power this black end to get close to that red. Oh, he's missed the black. Thinking about position. Maybe he just took his eye off the pot. And he's again, and he'll be relieved. 37 the lead, only 30. This had to go. And the sheer pace of the shot has kept the black on the table. So Murphy is finally going to get a frame. Would certainly been very hurtful to lose this one, but you can forget about that now. He's halving the deficit. Eight. Sean was frightened to death there. He felt that cue ball drifted towards the corner pocket and he nearly went in off the black. Ten. Thirteen. That's one way of playing on the black. 28. <laughs> what a positional shot. Even Marcel Eckhart raised a smile. Sean Murphy clears the table. He'll be relieved. That could have gone wrong, even though he made 60. But Hossein Vafai missed the black. And Murphy has halved the deficit. Vafai leading. With frame ball in sight, but Vafai in trying to make the clearance and get position on the awkward last red on the left rail, powered in the black, or tried to, wobbled it, and that left him needing a snooker, Murphy cleared. And has reduced the arrears to one. One more to come before the mid-session break. Murphy to get us underway in frame four. Two one adrift.
Well, we've had one re-rack, will this be another? Again, no need for a re-rack, it's not a stalemate. Well, Sean could attempt this red to the left corner, stand across the face of the pink, hold for the black. Wow. That's a Murphy special. His long game at the start of the evening was a little off. This one was bang on. Eight. <laughs> Murphy suddenly coming to the party. What a pot this is. And this is why Sean Murphy is so dangerous. You leave him anything to go at. You always worry that he's going to take something on because you know if he does, he's capable of knocking them in. And that's an ideal split for Sean Murphy. And from nowhere, he has a chance to level this match 16. up at two all. It's easy to forget that before he won the Players' Championship last season, Murphy had gone three years 24. without a title. Lost out in the Welsh Open final prior to that success, narrowly to Rob Milkins, but then, of course, went on to add the Tour Championship as well. Last year, he was on the wrong end of an extraordinary performance from Jack Lazowski here at the UK, who made four consecutive centuries. Twenty-five. Well, that could be end of break. Not sure if Sean 30. can see enough of the red to the left corner to pot it. There is a red two down from the pink that he could
potentially cut into the same pocket. That's very tight. Another fantastic red to keep the break going. Murphy was down in the late 50s as regards pot success at one stage after the first couple of frames, but now well into the 80s again, and he's produced three outstanding pots on reds in this frame. However, as you can see from that camera shot, Positionally no good. So Stand just the snooker. 31. Not a snooker, obviously, but awkward queuing for the fight. He'd certainly be the more frustrated of the two if this mini session is shared, given that he won the first two frames without playing anything like his A game. He'll be looking back, I'm sure, on the black that he missed at the back end of the previous frame when the possibility of a 3-0 lead was in the offing. safety shot from Sean has tied the black up for now. There are a couple of possible options here for Hossein, but nothing easy. And nothing that doesn't involve an element of risk. of check side on the cue ball which is why it didn't really go anywhere caught the red too thickly so a chance again for Sean here maybe the black will pot into the left corner I'm not sure He's knocked in some cracking reds in this frame, but that one has gone astray. And in the process, so is the cue ball into that cluster of reds. Just 31 in front, Murphy. Good chance for the fight. One. Well, calamitous result really for Sean because he's developed the pink. And having seen that previous camera angle, I don't think that black does pot into the left corner, so having the pink in play is a big bonus here for Hossein. Seven.
8. Fourteen. I'm sure Hossein Fafai would be very pleased if he can restore that two frame advantage as they head off to the mid session interval. He's certainly been the more methodical, the more solid and compact of the two players. Sean 20. Murphy's play has to be said as well, been full of variety. Fafai's ice break is still a modest 33. But it's all about the frames, and 25. this is a pretty good chance. Twenty-six. There is one potential problem that is looming up for Hossein, and that is that red that's next to the black, because he will need it. Thirty-three. Only a handful of points in front. But if this goes to plan, he's going to be two frames clear at the interval. A very handy lead. The way that Hossein Fafai strikes the cue ball, it's almost a cross between a stroke and a hit. It's somewhere in the middle. It's very controlled. 46. Now, does he attempt to leave an angle on the pink to bring the awkward red into play? Surely he must. Some players would be content just to drop in behind the red and leave a very difficult snooker to try to escape. In all honesty, all that I'm saying can do there, because he's dead straight on this pink, and I'm sure the red doesn't. Yeah, the somewhat exasperated expression told the story that he didn't land on the pink as he wanted to. Twenty two the lead, thirty five remaining for Murphy if he gets the chance. Fifty 
59. Well, it needs to be able to hit this red four ball. If he can't, that's a poor shot he's just played. Oh, he was OK. But what's he done here? Oh, that's Hussein a poor Hussein. shot from Hussein. The snooker should have been a given there, and in the end, he almost left the pot on. So, this frame still alive, 28 the difference. Everything in a potable position. The green's a bit awkward, but Murphy's still in the hunt for two each, which would be a great result for him. Certainly a snooker. I'll say he needs to be a little careful here because one ball he doesn't want to move into open play is the green. Oh, that's another corker of a red from Murphy. One of many in this frame. It's going to be all about the green, you feel. Won't be easy to get on to, not from where the yellow is. He could leave a double on the green if he wished. Another choice he has here, he can play a little half stun, just float the yellow in, drift the cube will pass the, the brown and leave himself behind the green. He's a very accomplished ref, rest player, Sean. I think he's even said in interviews he feels he is the best player with the rest in the game. Eight. So the crunch ball in Murphy's bid to get out of this mini session unscathed. Looked a little flat in the first couple of frames. Couldn't get anything going. Missed a few from distance. But he's not missing at the moment. That was... A thoroughly convincing shot with the rest, right in the middle of the pocket. Fafai had the chance, built a lead. 15. But Murphy has got back in, and now this frame is at his mercy. He needs the three colours. Twenty. Such a great match temperament, Murphy. He's never been short of bottle or class when the pressure's on. That's the biggest prizes the game can offer. And this for two each. 33. That's a big steal. 35. The magician has got out of jail and emerged from the first mini session of this intriguing first round match at the Barbican with a share of the spoils. Hossein Vafai moved 2-0 in front. Look, the stronger of the pair.
But Murphy has... A few matches mm. never lost in the first round, which is tough. Yeah, um, yeah look, there's so many great players around. But, you know, frame, as far as the safety and all that, you know, Mark Selby's tough to beat. But it's a, you've got a good player with all those numbers anyway. Absolutely. Let's hand back to the table and get the match underway again. Just underway, Hossein Vafai, level at two each. He'll be, as the guys discussed in the studio, no doubt a little irked by that because there were opportunities for him to have an advantage going into the second half of this match. As it is, we start again. Effectively now, we're in home nation's territory. Best of seven for the right to play either Ali Carter or Matt Seltz. Seltz made two centuries in that match against Carter, the reigning German Masters champion. Carter at the moment favourite to make it three each. Sean has just tied the black up comprehensively and he'll absolutely detest that because he loves the opportunities to make frame winning breaks at every opportunity, and that won't be easy now. That average shot time, certainly pedestrian by Murphy's standards, although we did begin to see the fluency that we've come to love down the years. One of the most aesthetically pleasing players, I think, on the table when he's in full flow, Murphy. He's got a lovely cue action. Always looks to attack. And even when he's struggling, he always looks good in the way in which he goes about his snooker. But, of course, recently he's recaptured something close to his very best game. Won the Championship League at the start of this season. Went unbeaten in that event. Since then, he's gone off the boil a bit and is looking to recapture the form of the back end of last season in particular. Oh, that's a great pot from the Iranian, though. The first from his country, of course, to play at the Crucible, to win a match at the Crucible, to win a ranking event. And he doesn't lack ambition, Vafai. He believes he belongs at Snooker's top table. Twice he's been denied by Lazowski in the last couple of years here at the UK. Six. Very straight on the red, but I wonder if he can just manufacture a touch of an angle here to screw into the black. No, he couldn't do, didn't attempt Seven. it. Pretty short of pace on the blue. Getting on his next red now could be rather tricky. Very good cut back, and he's got a 13. lovely angle here on the blue to blast the cube into the pack of reds and spread them far and wide. Five. Oh, that's unfortunate. The same for five. I'd have to see a replay, actually, to be absolutely sure whether it was unfortunate, because sometimes there is a plant in the pack of reds that goes directly into the pocket, and if you don't see it, it's a little careless. Well, there was a three or four ball plant there at the top of the pack, but 
I still think that's a little unfortunate, really. I was very interested in the conversation in the studio there, Phil, as regards players that know their way around the table. Most players that have had a 30-odd year career will know their way around the table, but one name that came to my mind was Anthony Hamilton. Very, very clever tactician. Wonderful break builder, Anthony. Made his big breakthrough out in Berlin at the Temple Drum when he won the German Masters. His family flew over to enjoy the moment with him. And I think Ronnie O'Sullivan will tell you that there were times when they were practicing together when Ronnie didn't get a look in because Hamilton was fain for just not missing. Reel off frame after frame without making a mistake in practice. Terrific player, terrific guy. Murphy edging the safety exchanges so far. Certainly an area of his game that he's worked very hard on in recent years. A few years ago, he relocated to Dublin, started practicing with Fergal O'Brien, who's as tough as they come. And I think he feels that his safety is as good as it's ever been. He's always had the potting and the break building. bit of a tricky safety this because the left hand half of the table is blocked off that's why Sean attempted the red but his main focus of course was to find the bolt cushion with the cue ball and he's certainly done that One. Well, could have a bit of a free go at the red there because there wasn't much danger of leaving anything except the red that he took on, but what a great pot that was. Osever fires his highest break of the evening, the 59, but that was in vain in the fourth frame. Murphy having the final say, the two each. <laughs> that applause is for Ali Carter, who has just levelled at three each with Matt Six. Selt on table two. The respective winners of this evening's matches, of course, to face off in the round of 16 at the bottom of the draw.
Eleven. Seventeen. Good camera shot there of the angle that Hossein has to work with on the red. It's not a lot. Eighteen. Saying's intent on potting the blue to leave a speculative plant at best. I wonder if though he's played for a gap there through the reds to the loose one nearest the pink. Twenty-three. Oh, has he spotted here? Has he found that gap? Oh, he had done. That was an excellent shot. Twenty-four. Very important, really, that Hossein can finish these frames off with the scoring opportunities that he's having. Didn't quite manage it in the previous two frames before the interval, and he ended up losing both of them. Yes, that was nicely controlled. Just signs that Fafai is beginning to find the sort of form that got him to the Barbican this year. He made four centuries in his two qualifying victories, including a whitewash over Martin O'Donnell and then a comeback victory over Scott Donaldson, who's a very tough professional. 3-1 down he was. 35. Can he kill this off at this visit? Forty one. Forty two. 50 the lead, 51 remaining, the pink is frame ball. 48. <coughs> 49.
54. Hussein Fafai, 54 and the frame. 54 is enough. Hussein Fafai killing the frame off at that visit to restore the lead here at the Barbican. He edges 3-2 in front of Sean Murphy. So Hossein Vafai back in front, three frames to two. His second half century of the evening this time, Sean though, Murphy, it was telling. He made 59 in vain in the fourth frame. 54 in the fifth to go, 3-2 to the good. Just their second meeting, remember, their only previous encounter at the shootout earlier this year, which Murphy won. Ah, oh, yes, One. that is beautifully cued. Just signs here that the fight is finding his form. In some ways, this black's equally difficult, though, because he had to pot the black. He was going to be leaving reds on, you'd think, and he's not that one in as Eight. well. This is an excellent beginning to this sixth frame here from Hossein Vafai. Can he score heavily? Highest break is Light. still just 59. Sean Murphy's is just 60. Well, after two Same outstanding five. pots, Nine. he'll be so disappointed to see the break end there. Rambo. That pink causing Sean Murphy a problem. Oh, so will the speed of the cue ball here is on nothing at all. Five. Yeah, because he couldn't play the blue and go into the pack of reds there because he couldn't have avoided the cannon on the pink with the cue ball. Oh, did Sean feel that, that was a poor shot from him? Or did he feel that he suffered a rather quick rebound from the bolt cushion. Sean Murphy, five. thinking about playing the swerve around the yellow, but the problem is with the side spin applied to the cue ball, it's going to kick the cue ball out to the opposite side. And there could be a danger that the cue ball could cannon the blue.
was saying should have had a look at those two reds because they could be a direct plant onto the one that's nearest the pocket. They're very close and Sean will be very interested in this. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if he does attempt the three ball plant to see him knock it in. Does he feel this red pots though? One. Well played a different plant. I thought that was more difficult, more risky, but in it's gone. One. Well, it's quite rare to see Murphy show One. that sort of emotion. I got the feeling that he was distracted initially by a bit of sound, maybe some movement in the crowd as he got back off the shot, but unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to recompose sufficiently well to pot the black, and that's what he thought of it. One. Now, can Vafai make him pay? He'd love to get a two-frame buffer for the first time this evening. Or the second time, I should say, from 2-0 up. He'll certainly feel he should have had a two-frame cushion at the interval. He wasn't able to achieve that, but if he can move 4-2 in front, that will certainly intensify the pressure on his opponent. Six. And if he can do it after Murphy missed a relatively straightforward black, all the more frustrating Seven. for the former champion. That was beautifully controlled. Perfectly on the pink. And it'd be useful to have that back onto its spot because it will make going into that little group of seven reds much easier. This being the last of the potable open reds. The one that's near the right side cushion isn't really one you plan to leave yourself on. Fourteen. Certainly got the reds open now. This is a good chance for the fight. Nineteen. <laughs> Murphy trying to get the Miss Black out of his system. Concentrate in his chair in case Vafai slips up here. But that looks 25. unlikely at the moment. Twenty-six. Yes, I'm not quite sure why Sean missed the black. Could have been distracted by somebody, but he may have had more than one thought running through his mind as to how to play it. 39. 40. Excellent shot. 
to split the reds, stay in position, and now the frame very much at his mercy. The lead is 49, only 59 46. left, so this red, another colour. 47. And Vafai will be taking a grip on this match. And in the process, punishing that Miss Black from 52. Murphy to the full. And that red surely seals the deal for him. So a good response from Vafai to the disappointment of losing his early 2-0 lead at the interval. He's upped his game since the break. 59. 60. His highest break of the match. 66. This has been by 67. a distance, the quickest frame of the match, which has been rather more pedestrian than perhaps some might have anticipated at the outset. 73. 75. 78. 82. Just enough for an even hundred. 87. And Murphy sitting in his chair, looking thoroughly fed up at missing the black that let the fire in for this break. The 19th century of the season for Hossein Bafai and the former shootout champion is taking a grip on proceedings here at the York Barbican. He leads the former champion, Sean Murphy, which caused a mass evacuation and delayed play by an hour. A slightly subdued start to the match. Hossein Bafai moving 2-0 up against an out of sorts Sean Hossein Murphy, who would have been delighted to level up proceedings at the interval, but he's got to do some more hard work now to get back into it again. The fight, 4 2 clear, two away from the round of 16. Well, for me, this is the biggest frame of the match so far. Of course, I'll say Vafai did hold a two in advantage at the beginning of the match, but 4 2 ahead. If you can win this frame to go within a frame of victory, be a long road back for Sean Murphy. And that's the most telling stat just now on your screen. The pot success for Fai well in front in that regard. A full 10 percentage points at a respectable 92%. Murphy well down on where he'd normally be at 82. And looking increasingly fed up as he leaves another chance for Fai. One. But he's not held the cue ball as he wanted. No, too much action on the cue ball. If the pink is available into the yellow pocket, Hossein may take it on. It will cut into the left centre. Mm, that's very tight. It may go. But, of course, he's just made a clearance of 100, so he should be brimful of confidence. A confident Hossein for five probably would take this pink on. Big shot, this. If he does take it on, and it looks as though he's going to. If he gets it, Pink ball. he could be in business again as he bids to go three up with four to play. No. Into the centre he goes. He's definitely raised his game, hasn't he, since the interval. Maybe he was a little angry that he didn't come out of that first four frames with an advantage and he's channeled that in a positive way since they returned. Marcel Eckhart just ensuring that pink is exactly as it should be. Seven. 
doesn't go in its own spot, of course, but it's got to go in a direct line as close as it can go without touching anything. Eight. know if the two reds next to the pink are set for a plant for the left could be useful it would help develop 18. reds and bring the pink into play if they were a plant fourteen they didn't look far away in that previous camera shot there Five. Just, 14. just overcut. Still thought it was going to wriggle in, though. <clears throat> well, I just wonder how many of our viewers thought that brown was in. I did. Just over two hours of playing time. Average frame time. Shade over 19 and a half minutes. But the last two in Vafai's favour have come and gone pretty quickly. Too quickly for Murphy's liking. So can he One. make some inroads here? Well, if he goes into the pack of reds, there's a couple of reds just below the pink that could deflect off the side of the pack and go dangerously close to the right corner if he's not careful. Foul. Oh, well, you made a plant of those two reds I suggested to the left corner. Five. It's all going wrong, isn't it? That's a rather weary looking wander back to his chair for Murphy. Saw him waft his cue in frustration in the previous frame when he missed the black. And this won't improve his mood. Planting the red into the pocket along with the blue. risk there to be honest I do feel he ought to have knocked that one in off the brown but he has given Sean an opportunity of a red into the right centre but there's not a lot of the pocket showing <laughs> also play one of these two reds as well to the left again nothing easy Meanwhile, Matthew Selt has just cleared to the pink to steal frame seven against Ali Carter. So Selt now leading by four frames to three. Yes, it was a good pot, certainly missable, no margin for error with a pot like that into the centre. He hit it well. well if he's just looking to find something again, began to strike up a bit of a rhythm before the interval. Knocked in some fantastic just take your seats quickly, please. long reds. Again, though, a little distracted. And maybe that belies the struggles he's having at times this evening that maybe is concentration isn't quite there he's not quite in the bubble he wants to be mentally six seven
doesn't really need to play a cannon into those reds and the pink because the red that's just above the black, you can use that just to punt through for the black and bring the reds into play that way. He'll have more control with that type of shot. So it might be look might be something he's looking to do in three or four shots perhaps from now. Thirteen. And he's played that perfectly, Sean. He's left the angle. I've suggested that 20. he may on this low red, so he can just punch this through, develop a few reds and be on the black. But I would have played 21. it with a little more pace than that myself. A little less topspin and just punch that red in and developed a few. Sean's with the cue ball there. 28. He's on the red, but I don't think the angle that he has on it is any good to him. No. Nope. Where's the cue ball going? Well, if he's got away with it, he's a little fortunate. But that was a good scoring opportunity that he didn't quite make the most of there. It looked very tight, that red, if I had a close look at it, but ultimately didn't hit it bang on, which he had to do to pass the other red. Got the unintended cannon as a result. What a big frame this is. Well, if he's not out of it at 5-2, we saw 5-1 deficits overcome in both matches last evening, but it would be a big ask, particularly given he's not quite at the races tonight. And again, the pot he would normally make eludes him. At least he hasn't left anything. Yes, again, very fortunate. But I've noticed on a few occasions this evening when Sean's made mistakes, he's rather hitting at the cue ball. He's playing it with a lot more pace than I feel he would ordinarily do. I don't know if Hossein would be interested in trying to cross double on the red that's near the right centre. Be quite a big risk. not touching evidently
Well, I wonder if Hossein can just run that red past the yellow and get that cube will tied in behind it. He could, and if... Oh, maybe Sean can just see enough of that red that's near the right centre. Can't pot it. But at least he will be able to play a safety if he can see it. Green and the brown are a lovely target to try and get the cue ball in behind. If Hossein can just hit one well here, really could be in the box seat. Don't think there's a possible red anywhere to attempt. It's the red that's next to the blue that Sean's hoping he can see enough of. Table looks pretty inviting now. For whoever gets in next, Murphy has looked pretty frustrated throughout the evening. He's never quite found his form, although he was certainly upbeat, as Ronnie O'Sullivan referenced, when he clinched the fourth frame to level at two all, which was a good result for him from 2-0 behind. But since the interval, nothing's gone his way. Afai has played much the better snooker. Breaks a 54 in the century in the previous frame to put himself in a position of strength. And if he could win this one, well, he really would be in the box seat. That's a mistake from Bafai. So Murphy with a chance. So often, Sean has just left himself a bit to do positionally with a lot of his play this evening. Brown. Brown. So he's nominated Brown. The skewball's going to have to travel a long way. Six.
13. So many less than ideal contacts of the balls. 19. Even those last two shots, the object ball has just jumped slightly. Twenty. Another frame has gone the way of Matthew. So the fight made the mistake. Let Murphy in, and he's taken advantage. Thirty-four. It's already three snookers. Thirty-five. The frame is well and truly won, but it wouldn't hurt Murphy at all if he could just mop up the colours as well for his highest break of the evening. Kiss of death. The yellow stays out. But 42 is enough and to win the frame. Hossein Vafai gestures to the referee. Yeah, no way back in this one. And so Vafai's lead is shaved to a single frame. This match is still in the balance. Vafai leading 4-3. Shake of the head from Hossein Vafahi, just that one pot away, but Sean Murphy just about hanging on in there. Oh, can he drop this red in and hold for the black? If he can, he'll have a chance to get back into this frame. Doesn't have many points to play with. That's Sean's problem here. And the pot was too thin. He had to play for the blue. One. So if he does pot the blue, he'll need blacks with the remaining four reds to steal the frame by a point. Six. This red along the top cushion will be a test for Sean. Already low on confidence. This is going to be tough. Yeah, it wasn't easy. He called it Sean Murphy. a little too thick, at least Six. from Murphy's point of view. He's not left it, which he might easily have done. Fifty-eight, the difference. Fifty-nine left. As Don mentioned, there's absolutely no wiggle room at all now for Murphy. It's blacks with the remaining reds and all the colours to win by one. I'm good, thank you. Decent safety from Vafai. That's fine, thank you, Sean. Yes, indeed, a great safety. Sean may be snookered on all the reds here.
absolutely certain there's a gap through to that red near the green pocket there is. You can see it there. This for frame and match. And in it goes. Not quite the break fist that we thought it might be this match. It's at times been quite attritional. Neither player has hit the heights, but Hossein Bafai has undoubtedly been the stronger of the two and merits his victory. He's outscored Murphy, made a century in the sixth frame. He's always been in front. Free. His pot success significantly better, albeit still in the 80s. He'll know he'll have to improve, but it's all about getting through your first round. And the qualifier would appear to have made that happen. 61 in front, 51 left. So Murphy, as things stand, needs three snookers. Had that red gone in, it would have been over for sure. Murphy, of course, will battle on. He'll be very disappointed. He would have been looking for a deep run here at the UK Championship 15 years after he lifted the title. Twice a runner-up since then. Started the season in perfect fashion by claiming his 12th ranking title at the Championship League, but since then his form has been a bit in and out. And this is the shot that drew a guffaw from Murphy. He'd hit it so badly and left his opponent in for what looks like the telling break of the evening. Well, that was not what Hussein was looking for. There's a chance here for Sean to pot two reds, two blacks. Leave that red that's on the top cushion in open play. Should be able to guarantee himself a decent snooker behind the black from that because he'd be looking to leave that red on the table to try and extract a free ball situation. There could be still some life in this frame yet. Eight. So wants to leave himself high on this red. Somewhere just below the black spot would be ideal. And that's perfect. So can Sean screw the cue ball in behind the black? Try and leave that red if he can 16. near a colour somewhere to try and get a free ball. Sean Murphy, 16. Well, not good enough. If it is a snooker, it should be an easy one to escape from. So... With Vafai escaping from the snooker, Murphy still needs three of them. Definitely the potential, of course, with that barrier of yellow and brown. And whenever the object ball is in the middle of the table, it can be a problem, but there's a gap, it seems. Goodness me. <laughs> How on earth... Did Murphy leave that gap? He can't believe it. I think, about, I think it just about sums up his night, doesn't it, Phil? Extraordinary. There was barely space for the cue ball there, but for Fai, he found it. And, of course, Hossein, with his previous safety, has pushed the black tight against the top cushion, so that's a big help as well. <laughs> I'm 
Sean Murphy staring down the barrel here. Three snookers required. Looks like he's in one. doesn't really want to have to pot this red if he can keep it on the table will help his cause he could do with a free ball otherwise he will need three snookers as the clock ticks round to midnight it's now day three at the Barbican time certainly running out for this man Seven. The equation remains the same for Murphy, but of course now, with the final red having disappeared, the possibility of a free ball to greatly reduce the task ahead of him has gone. <laughs> and Sean that Murphy surely nine. sets the seal on the same for five. Sean Murphy's five. UK Championship Challenge in 2023. Free ball as well. You can't believe it. This is not what he had in mind when he arrived at the Barbican this evening. Five minute match. Hossein Sean Murphy Fafai. offers his hand. Hossein Bafai has conjured victory over the magician. Sean Murphy, the 2008 UK champion, falls in the first round. For the third year running, the man from Iran has booked his place in the round of 16. In a meeting with Matthew Selt, he defeats Sean Murphy here at the York Barbican on day two and now day three by six frames to four and he'll look forward to the chance at a shot at the quarterfinals of the uk championship <laughs>